Hey, it's your boy ICH3 Tech coming back to you guys with a tech video with the video of maybe the possible Samsung S10 models. You know, uh, let's get it right into it. And um, wait, what is this video? Could this be one of them? Hmm. Let's get right into the video. Okay, we back. Here's a video of a guy that have the look like the S10 Plus model um, in his hand right now. Um, basically, what I'm trying to get at is, what, how do y'all feel about the S10? What it's gonna look like? Do y'all like this, you know, new technology where it's coming with the camera uh, in the display instead of having it a notch and everything else? Do you like it's in the right corner? Do you like it's in the left corner? Do you like it in the middle? Uh, let's leave a comment down below. But my part by looking at this here, um, I really like the way the part because it's right up top. Um, usually that's where the battery indicator, you know, how much, you know, battery uh, time and everything else, usually up in that corner, right, you know, right hand corner. But seeing this here, you know, this look like he got like a, prototype this testing it out this using it but i'm gonna follow up with this you know here coming in with this part right here and i'm just gonna take this here and bring it over to there so you can see what i'm talking about but in my part what i'm trying to get at is uh i feel like samsung what they're doing here is actually with these new oled definity displays with these circles in the display, I feel like that is a really good thing to do, uh, especially get away from the notch situation because nobody like the notch situation. I really didn't have a problem with the notch, but I, I get it. You know, certain things is in the way, but you got to understand when you hurt it, turn it to the side while you're trying to play games and stuff, that notch would pretty much would almost get it out your way from you playing a game. But um, I, can't, I understand. I understand to the fullest. But another thing, too, when I'm getting here, if this would be nice, if any one of you carriers, uh, any one of you guys that make a cell phone, you know, this is a Samsung, this, you know, because their event is coming up on the 20th of February. So um, I'm going to show that in a little bit. And it might be coming out with a full display on that one. Um, but we're going to get right into it. But it would be nice, that, like they have it up there, to have that display in a corner. I mean, that camera in a corner where it just be like the pixels come back whenever you're not using a front camera. Like leaving it there just for so long of a time you know it's always there you see it there you gotta you know do special effects just like in the beginning of the video you see the guy made somebody with an eye so you can't see that circle but um to me i feel like if you made that pixels it only comes on when you need to you know recognize your face or open the camera to take selfies that's what i feel like the pixel should just move out the way and leave room for that camera to take pictures, video conference, everything else. And then once you stop using it, it automatically goes back in so you can use the full display. That will be awesome if Samsung did something like that for this event. But I'm pretty sure the technology is coming and this won't probably be out until like next year or the year after that uh, for the, the event. But, you know, that will be great in some situations with, you know, this phone here with the display. You know, just like MKB, he made a video on the new hall, hallway, what is it, uh, Honor View 20, where it had that, you know, video with the display, with the circle on the side, you know, just like how Samsung got here. But these are images that I'm just, like, using as example, just to, you know, explain myself on everything right there. But um, there's other things coming out, too, that's going to probably be using that display. Um, I know Apple probably end up coming out with the display, but I think, you know, uh, H, um, what is it called? One plus one seven, I think it's going to have the most viable, you know, concept. It's going to be coming out to that phone. So stay tuned to you me talk about that one, but I'm basically just talking about this one here. This is the new Samsung, you know, 
maybe I'm just I'm just looking. This is rumors, you know. I'm just basically just putting this out there. Just you know, tell my opinion. Just basically just talk about my impression with the look and everything else that like that. You know, um, to me, I feel like this device I would definitely buy, and also. Samsung got the technology where they can make this device where I could pretty much don't have to use my computer where I could dock this in that dock deck stock and be able to video edit, edit just like I'm doing now and also you can use the word documents do everything with your business and everything else but that would be nice if I could just use this to be able to um, uh, you know do video just in case I, you know because they talk about this phone is gonna be eighteen hundred dollars so I'm gonna spend eighteen hundred dollars that's usually what I could get for a laptop or use a desktop or I could build a desktop for eighteen hundred dollars, but you know, with the pricing, with the carriers, we can put money down and pay on it, and blah blah blah. It's just the thing is what I'm trying to say is like, is the price of these phones is getting ridiculous? It seems like these is going to turn to computers because you see the fold displays are now flexible displays are coming out. Pretty soon, those are going to be our personal computers, just like back in the days we had PDD, PD, um, those personal um, computers in our hand. Uh, where they had the little stencil and everything else like that but you know um pencil but you guys leave a comment below this was just a quick video just i wanted to explain just get y'all thoughts what y'all feel about this um subscribe to my channel more content coming y'all see let's get some likes um sub more stuff are coming i'll be doing giveaways i might even give away this phone here once it launched you know um once you build up to uh build up uh, i'm actually trying to see if i could do some partner up with someone we could launch this you know, uh, get the part out there, like, you know, you know, CJ, no tech, you know, maybe we could partner up together and do, a, you know, um, giveaway on this. Cause I know he usually get the Samsung devices. Um, I'm usually getting the Apple Samsung and lower end phones and reviewing those and get my thoughts about, you know, these phones, because these phones are getting over prices, over pricey. And I feel like, you know, uh, the technology they're putting in them, you, you don't have to over, overdo it, you know, with the price, um, Actually, because you would get people to buy if this price was low. That's the reason why Samsung have a problem selling their, their devices because their price is outrageous, like outrageous. But let me know your thoughts. Comment below. Like, sub, um, more content be coming. Uh, just tell me your thoughts, what you think, fill out with this phone, the, the new Samsung S10 model. You know what I mean? The unpack event, I'm going to do a live stream on that. I usually do a live stream every year. Where I just live stream myself watching it. It's, you know, we could comment, we could talk with each other, everything on the launch, you know, on the launch of it, and we could talk inside the chat and everything else. So leave it, you know, leave a thumbs up, leave your comment down below. You're gonna watch and um, share this. Let's just put this out there. Let's let's um let's grow and let me show you guys what I could do. I got potential in this, and you know, I do tech, I do cars, and I do gaming. So um, let's get into it and um, catch on.